What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we'll be taking a closer look at what some of the biggest players in the world actually wear on their feet. As what might look like the same as the retail versions that you guys buy are actually their own customised edition. So let's not only find out which players are getting their boots camouflaged by Nike and Adidas, but discuss what their specialised models offer compared to the retail version. Setting the tone for this video, we have Andres Iniesta in his completely unique Magista Opus 2s. Posing as one of, if not the headline player for the control theme Magista range, Iniesta has totally boycotted the exposed dimple upper by demanding Nike construct his own Opus 2s with a smoother and softer upper without their chicken pox looking dimples. To be fair, Iniesta has made the right decision in my opinion. The Magista Opus 2 is without doubt my biggest disappointment of this season. The first gen model was a boot which I wore and loved, but the newer style feels incredibly stiff, thick and in all honesty, very cheap. For me, I find it pretty disappointing how Nike are aware of the Opus 2 issue and have only sorted out their star man of Iniesta. But what about us? By saying that, there's actually a few rumours spreading at the moment that Nike will be converting the low cut Opus 2 into the Obra 2 meaning the Kangala upper will become entirely flyknit, matching the new Hypervenom Phantom 3 boots. With both Hypervenoms now being flyknit and the Magista apparently following suit, maybe we'll see a flyknit Recure Vapor 11 in the near future too. Next up to feature in the truth revealed is Man City's Gale Clichy, a true all-rounder fullback who doesn't really have an outstanding attribute, but gets the job done. But what's going on with his Nike contract and boot choice? Well, the French left-back has recently come to our attention for taking tricks to a whole new level. Instead of wearing different coloured boots on each foot, he's decided to wear entirely different silos for his left and right. Equipped with a Magista Obra 2 on his right and then a Tiempo Legend 6 on his left, Cleese has opted to not stick with one Nike silo but two. Something not only unique but also surprising as big brands usually tie a player down to a single silo for marketing reasons. But why does Cleese do this? Well it's not actually the first time he's mixed synthetic with leather. Last season he was seen wearing the Puma Evo Speed SL2s, again one synthetic and one leather. Perhaps he prefers the ball feel and touch on his trusty left foot underneath K leather, however wants a lightweight sensation opposite. But I guess it shows that there is a difference between each silo within a brand's collection. Up next is a situation which really annoys me, CR7 Signature Edition Recruit Superfly 5. Look Nike, if you have a headline player like Ronaldo who prefers their boots made a different way, then go ahead and hand them a specialised version throughout the season. But when it comes to unveiling a new CR7 exclusive, which are mega expensive, have all his branding on them and are said to be made to his exact specifications, how about you actually deliver what you promise? CR7 wears the mid-cut Superfly fire, we all know that. But you may or may not know that his boots actually feature a much lower and arguably more premium dynamic fit collar. Overall, without doubt, an improved version. I'm personally not a great fan of the collar. I'll always opt for the low-cut Nike models. But what about the young kids out there who want to wear the exact same boots as their favourite player and hero? Well, instead of paying the high price tag and getting that in return, you're actually receiving something pretty different to what Real Madrid's goalscorer has on his feet. I just think it's a bit of a double standard having one thing for your best player, but something else for the thousands of others who spend their hard-earned money on CR7 Signature Edition boots. Moving from La Liga to the Premier League, let's see how Adidas have camouflaged one away Chelsea striker Diego Costa's boots so you can't tell what he's really wearing. This example is actually very similar to Gareth Bale. While it looks like Diego Costa is lacing up in the standard X16 plus pure chaos, Adidas have actually hooked up Costa with a crossbreed boot mixing the previous F50 Adi Zeros with the newest attack minded silo. The F50 Adi Zeros were one of the best speed boots ever released proving a massive seller for Adidas so it was both a surprise and a shame when they killed off their long serving silo and switched to the new X models. But for players like Diego Costa, he just couldn't let go of his F50 feels so Adidas made a special pair of Pure Chaos which had a speed traction sole plate acting as a platform for pacey performances. Very different to the retail Pure Chaos version. It's interesting as I personally think the sprint frame outsole on the retail Pure Chaos is the better option. The sole plate itself and the teardrop shaped studs just feel a little bit more responsive underfoot. From the Premier League to the Bundesliga, what's happening on the feet of the best goalkeeper in the world, Manuel Neuer? For any young goalkeepers of the game who want to make it pro, Neuer is your absolute go-to for technique, positioning and distribution. But why has the modern day goalkeeper now opted for Adidas's most classical boot ever, the Copa Mundial? For the past couple seasons, Neuer has been one of the faces for Adidas's ace range having spells in the Ace 15.1 leather, standard 16.1, 16.1 prime knit and new 17.1 leather. 
but he's now decided that a timeless classic is best by leaving all technology behind for the buttery soft Copa Mundial. The Copa Mundial is a special boot for more than one reason. They really are loved by almost every player and boot enthusiast across the globe due to their styling. But they also pose as a very popular choice by players who are in between signing contracts with brands. Remember when Kaka moved to Orlando Pirates and removed the three stripes? Well, Johan Kabay and Johan Gorkoyf also did the same when choosing which brand to sign with. The Copa Mundial will remain in the game forever. Bundesliga now over to Syria and let's feature the King of Rome, Francesco Totti. Totti is not only Roma's most famous and cap player of all time, but is also iconic for wearing his own signature version of Nike's Tiempo Legend boot, with all featuring an elasticated fold over tongue. But it's not just the classically designed tongue which catches the eye of Totti's boots. The sole plate also turns back the clock to the early 2000s by using the same stud configuration seen on the first editions of the Air Zoom Total 90s. Whilst I think Toddy's fold over tongue looks ultra classy, I'd personally still prefer the current hybrid tongue on the standard Tiempo Legend 6. But one thing I would absolutely love is the bladed stud configuration to make a comeback. It looks so so good and performs really well. But if we're being realistic, you'll never be able to purchase a pair of genuine Toddy boots. Even when Nike released his special signature edition Tiempo Legend Premiums, they didn't even feature any elastic on the tongue or the bladed sole plate. Let's now have a look at probably the most interesting boot decision made by a player in the last few seasons. Tony Cruz in his Adidas Adapure 11 Pros released way back in January 2014. Tony Cruz is one of my favourite players. His passing range is literally a joke and the amount of passes he actually completes is second to none. But why does he still choose to wear a three year old boot and why does Adidas allow him to do this? Well to be fair, when you're starring for Real Madrid in Germany, you can pretty much do whatever you want as you'll have more power than the brand themselves. And that's exactly what Cruz is doing, but opting to stay in a pair of boots he personally loves, rather than moving on to the new Ace or X ranges. I think Cruz has got a solid reason for staying in the older Adapures. He obviously prefers leather boots and the Adapures were constructed from a wonderfully premium K leather. But looking at the more modern leather boots from Adidas, and firstly they're not even entirely leather now, and secondly the leather itself isn't made to the same quality. So whilst the players featured so far have all pretty much found their preferred boot with specific customizations, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has been one of the most busy players in terms of boot choices so far this season. Indecisiveness is the word for Zlatan after he's been seen in the Nike Mercurial Vapor 10, Vapor 11, Adidas X16.1 and X16.1 leather, all in a space of six months and constantly interchanging on the Man United goalscorer's feet. But why has Zlatan been so busy this season? Well the first point to mention is that he was probably being prized away from Nike by Adidas after they heard he would be joining Manchester United, the three stripes biggest kit deal in history. So what's the model of choice for Zlatan at the moment which helped him rescue a point against rivals Liverpool? Well it is the three stripes who are adorning his magical feet over Nike at the moment in the form of the X16.1. But do you guys think players should have it all their own way with model changes and having their own custom versions or should they have to play in the same boots as we all buy? Vote in the poll card now. For anyone who watched our first helping of the shocking truth, then you'll all be aware of how Lionel Messi actually prefers the more affordable Messi 16.1s over the supposedly most elite 16 plus pure agility. And this is still proving the case. Maybe he just really likes his laces being exposed, which is totally understandable as I'd be the same. But there's also been some major news in the boot world. Nike and Brazilian poster boy Neymar has made the long time coming switch back to the Mercurial brand into the Vapor 11s after wearing a disguised pair of Hypervenoms for several months. Gareth Bale has now also made the genuine step into the X16.1s without any F50 out of zero customization. So maybe the brands are getting a little stricter with what their main players can wear, or the players themselves are now ready to finally move on into their latest models. Hope this video has given you guys a better insight into how your own boots can differ to the ones worn by the biggest and best pros out there. Let us know your own thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.